Well, greetings once again, everyone. Keith Young here, back with another personal growth and development message for your continued growth to live the life you want to live. This is part two of Does Your Mindset Matter for Success? And before we get started, I'd like to remind you to hit that subscribe button below uh, to subscribe to my channel and then hit that bell icon so you get notified when new videos come out. Now in part one, I talked about how we get our current mindset, which is our current identity as a person. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to create a mindset of success. So let's just jump right in. Let me start by saying that you should be conscious of your thoughts. Become aware of the thoughts that you think on a daily basis because your thoughts then become your words. Your words then become your actions. Your actions then become your habits. Your habits become your character and your character becomes your reality and your identity. Doesn't that say everything right there? It all starts with our thoughts. And where do our thoughts come from? Usually from our subconscious mind or some kind of stimulus around us that reminds us of something in the past. See, we are always living in the past from where we came from because that's our current programming. So the first key in creating anything new is to become aware of the thoughts of your current reality. If you're not aware of your thoughts on a daily basis, your thoughts end up turning into words you don't want to speak. And what I mean by that is we want to speak of abundance, prosperity, of success, rather than lack and scarcity and always having to go the hard road. One of the things I spoke about on the last video was about your speech and the way you talk about things and talk about yourself. All the words that come out of your mouth first start with thoughts. Then your words turns into the actions that you take. You take these actions on a daily basis, it becomes a routine, which becomes a habit. The habits then become who you are and becomes your character. The character then becomes your identity and your current reality of the way you look at the world and react to things around you. This is why it is so important to become aware of your thoughts. When you become conscious and aware of your thoughts, when they come up, then you have a choice in your conscious mind to change that thought into the one that will support you in achieving success. When your thoughts become, start becoming one of achieving success, then you will start speaking the words of success. You will start speaking of yourself as a success. These words then will turn into successful actions that you take in your daily life. Then if you are taking successful actions on a daily basis, it becomes your routine and creates success habits. Those habits will get entrained into your subconscious mind and it will become your character. It will make new synaptic connections in your brain to become the character and personality that you want. This then becomes your identity and you will have a current reality of success. Now there are five words that I like to use for success and they are mindset, passion, mental rehearsal or visualization, belief, and action. Notice that success starts with mindset. If you have created a success mindset, then you can start following your passion. Identify your passion. What is your passion? What do you want for the rest of your life? Identifying what you want for your life it's also very important because it gives you direction that you need to follow. Once you have identified that, then I suggest you start a 
mental rehearsal program to start embedding that into your subconscious mind. These would be visualizations, but I like mental rehearsal better because you are mentally rehearsing your future. You are mentally rehearsing your successful future. When you start rehearsing something, that means you want to perfect it, it means you want to get better at it. The same way you should be rehearsing your future. It doesn't come overnight, but you want to get better at it and you want your subconscious mind to see what your successful future will look like because it will adapt it into the now. It will see it like it already is a success for you and look for ways to create that future. And then it becomes about belief. If you believe in success and seeing yourself as a success right now, then you will start seeing opportunities to create that success opening up for you that currently exist. You do not see these opportunities because you are focused on lack and scarcity. When you start mentally rehearsing your success in your subconscious mind, then it accepts this as a success right now. That activates your reticular activating system to start seeing the success opportunities that currently exist. Finally, when you recognize the opportunities that you need to take action on, then take action on them. Do something about it. Just seeing the opportunities is not going to get the job done and it does not lead to success. You actually have to take action on them to create the success that you want. Now, I would also like to talk about the formula for living your success. This is just a formula or an outline for you to follow. You can follow the five words of success that I just went through, but this will give you maybe a little bit more of a structure in addition to using the five words of success. Number one, define your success. What does success look like for you? What does success look like for you personally? You need to make it personal to you and something that you really want in your life. Number two is to set goals based on your definition of success. By setting goals, it becomes the roadmap to reaching your destination, which is success. Number three is to find inspiration and motivation. Now, I tell my coaching clients to write out their big why. Why do they want the level of success that they're looking for? Then write out what your life would look like after you achieve this level of success. Then, when you run into roadblocks and problems along the way, and you will, read your big why in the paragraph of what your life would look like after you achieve success. This will then give you inspiration and motivation. And number four is create habits surrounding your goals. What habits would you like to get rid of and replace with new success habits? Do you have a habit of when things start going wrong, you just give up? Do you have a habit of not getting started? Do you have a habit of not staying focused? You need to replace those kinds of habits if you are going to achieve your success. Number five is to create a routine around your habits. When you create a routine, it becomes easier to stay on course to achieve your success. A routine is easy to follow, and you do not usually have to do much thinking about it once you have that routine down. Number six is to stop procrastinating. This could be one of the habits that you need to get rid of and replace. Procrastination is opportunity's natural assassin. Let me repeat that. Procrastination is opportunity's natural assassin. That means you may be missing golden opportunities to create the success that you want by procrastinating and not getting started. 
one of the biggest reasons of procrastination is overwhelm. You start to see things in the big picture. You look at the big mountain in front of you of where you have to go and it just overwhelms you and you don't even know where to get started. The key here is just to get started. Let the finishing take care of itself. Finishing a project is nothing but a series of starts. Just look at the first thing you have to do to get started and just start on it. Then when you get to the end of that piece of the puzzle, then start on the next piece. And you just start on that piece until it's finished, then you start on the next piece until that gets finished. So finishing is nothing more than a series of starts. Just get started. The last one, number seven, is to stop looking at success like a distant achievement. I can't tell you how many people I have coached in the past that looks at success years down the road like it is some far away distant planet. Look at success as right now. Start creating a success journal. Write down at least three successes that you had during each day. These could be small successes as they don't have to be anything big. It could be something like you actually got started on something today. You actually filled out an application that you've been meaning to fill out for months. You found a parking place right up in front of the grocery store. Then the next morning, when you get up, read the successes you've had the night before and one and do a mental rehearsal on it. Do a mental rehearsal of how much of a success that this day is going to be for you. This is how you create a habit of success and the mindset of success. By accepting that you are a success right now, you are creating success now. It's not some distant future. Your bigger level of success is coming shortly. By creating that success mindset right now will shorten that time for you to create the big successes that you want in your life. So I hope this two-part video has helped you understand a little bit more about how to create success in your life by creating a success mindset. If you would like some help with creating a success mindset, you can schedule a free coaching consultation with me so I can help you get started. Again, there's that word started. To schedule, just email me at keith at innergamemagic.com. Again, make sure you just hit that subscribe button below and leave a comment on this video as well and hit that like button. Please feel free to share this link of this video, the last two videos, on your Facebook and Instagram page as well. So until the next video, wishing you much abundance, prosperity and success, as well as health, wealth, and much happiness.